So great were the words and music of the ceremonies of the second resurrection initiations, that the people were entranced beyond measure. The old and divided kingdoms, which were without unity and discipline, were now replaced by extreme sanctity and decorum, extreme holiness and etiquette. Sue said, Hear me, O God, I will counsel you further. Know, then, that the false gods and false lords have gone off to build up kingdoms of their own, nor do they know what has happened in Horde. Allow them to proceed until they have purified the Kerporeans from familiars and fetals. But when they have finished, call another festival of all these people, and also send word to the false gods and false lords who deny Jahaveh, the All-Person, and they will come at the orange in extravagant raiment and jewelry, and bringing their slaves. For they will expect, by their pageantry, to triumph over all other gods and men, hoping to carry back millions of subjects with them. God said, I perceive, O Su, son of Jehavi. So God did as commanded, and sure enough, eventually the false gods and false lords stripped the mortal barbarians of their familiars and fetals, making slaves in heaven of these spirits. And it, the situation, came to pass, that God gave another festival, and it was greater than the first. And more than three billion angels were present, who had become enlisted in righteous works. This festival period was the beginning of the third year of Su, and his wisdom and power were now manifested all around the world, on earth and in heaven. And this particular outcome, the one predicted by Su, is what happened in reference to the false gods and false lords. They came to the festival equipped in chariots and ships, with banners and flags, crowns, and items, and with many other wonderful extravagances, and nothing like it had been in heaven since the flood. And each and every false god and false lord endeavored to outdo the others in show and parade. As might be expected, the first day of the festival neither won their applause nor censure. The second day they ceased to attract attention, for the thrift, purity, and wisdom manifested in the countless millions of the second resurrection caused even children to receive more praise than the false gods and false lords with all their glitter and show. On the third day one half of the false gods and false lords cast aside their adornments and appeared in plain white, pleading to be initiated into the mysteries of the second resurrection. And on the day following, the rest of them came, seeking admission also. At that, the light of Jehovah spoke through true God on the throne, saying, Think, O gods and lords, what are you doing? It was barely yesterday, that you asked for kingdoms, desiring to be leaders and great workers, over and above your fellows. And you gods and lords obtained your desires, becoming gods and lords over millions. And these became your dutiful subjects, and you adorned your thrones and your persons in great splendor. Behold, I, you God, gave a festival, and you gods and lords came as living witnesses, of what self-made gods and lords could accomplish. And your dutiful subjects came with you to attest their loyalty and good faith in your wisdom and power. Now you gods and lords have cast aside your crowns and high estate, praying to become workers among the host of men and women. Are you not mad? And are you not making yourselves the destroyers of your own subjects? For, see, because of your abjuration, yes, your rejection of self-pomp and self-glory, all your subjects are cast aside in ignorance and misery. With one voice the self-gods and self-lords answered, saying, Alas, O God! What shall we do? Our crowns we can give away, our raiment and jewels, our thrones and kingdoms. But, O oh God, we cannot give away our subjects, they will not go. We have bound them to us, and we are bound to them, because we accepted them. What shall we do, O oh God? The burden is more than we can bear. God said. Do not be disconsolate, dejected, O oh gods and lords. You have done a great work. You have rescued millions and millions of familiars and fetals. 
and even before you applied for the resurrection, behold, most of your subjects had already deserted you. Hear the judgment of your Creator, which is that when all your subjects and fetals are risen in wisdom, virtue and good works, so as to take the second resurrection, then on that same day you shall be promoted. Only then can you have freedom of soul. The voice of God ceased, and the self-gods and self-lords answered. You are just, O Jehovah. We will go to work among our poor and ignorant subjects, and make them comprehend your wisdom, power, and justice. For ten days the festival lasted, and then it ended. And thus were rites and ceremonies first established in the lower heaven as a power to work wisdom and virtue. And from that time forward, music, marching and dancing were included in all ceremonies by the gods and lords of heaven.